Shaking my knees and losing my head My baby left me rather feel like dead That's a heartbreak That's a hurt me Stripping me of all my dignity Led me to believe I was all that she had Woke up and found she was gone I feel so bad That's a It's a hurt me Stripping me of all my possibilities Hey guys, this is Adam Gusso coming to you on July 4th with great news. The new album, the debut album by my new blues trio, Sir Rod and the Blues Doctors, is out. Uh, for is ready for advanced purchase, uh, at least on iTunes and, and, and Apple Music. And uh, as part of uh, advanced purchase, you get one of the tracks, or, uh, you can kind of download one of the tracks called Heartbreak, and that's what you just heard a little bit of. It's a song that, uh, well, let me tell you about the album. The album brought together, uh, of course, I played with Sterling, Mr. Satan McGee for many years, uh, but Mr. Satan has a family. Sterling McGee has a family, and one of the members of the family is Rod Patterson's, a.k.a. Sir Rod. Um, you know that I brought you uh, the single from the album. The album is called Come Together. But Rod, uh, well, Mr. Satan lived with Rod and his mom for a couple of years in the early 80s, about three or four years before I ran into Mr. Satan on the street in Harlem. So we have this amazing connection. It was the documentary called Satan and Adam, still on Netflix. You can check it out now. Um, I have no financial stake. I'm just letting you know it's on Netflix. Rod saw the uh, documentary. He contacted me. We ended up talking, realizing we had this uncanny connection, which came from having the same master, Mr. Satan, in a weird way. So, you know, kind of like a, a, a brotherly thing. We got together. He came to, he came to Oxford, and uh, we got together, him and my guitar man, Alan Gross, and had an incredible time in the studio and made all, most of an album in a weekend in January and then came back and finished it in February. This song, I think, was from the February session, Heartbreak. It's one that Satan and Adam used to do. I'm going to show you a little bit of what I was doing. So what I want to do, I'm in my car. It's a, it's a hot July 4th. I got AC on, which is actually why I'm not sweating up a storm. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put the stereo on. I'm going to go back to the beginning of this cut. So hold on. Bear with me. Here we go. Waking my knees and losing my head. My baby left me rather feel like dead. That's all. It's a hurt of me Stripping me of all my dignity All right, see if I can, I, I think I've remembered exactly what I played. So I'm going to just see if I can do that, and then I'm going to show you some of what I was doing. It's kind of cool. Um, the key thing to mention, mention is, I'm also drumming at the same time. Now, that stop time drumming thing, it's not something Alan and I have done much of. Um, but I did a lot of that with Sterling, except he was playing the percussion for most of that. So this was a new experience, being a drummer who had, were responsible for not just doing the harp, but so. Weak in the knees. So it goes like this. mostly what I did. So, a lot of fancy footwork there. What am I doing? Okay, well, the open, I, I'm on a C harp. That's number one. We're on a C harp. And by the way, happy gosh darn July 4th is all I can say. America's taken a beating lately. You may have noticed I have not been around much. Been hiding out, been reading, well, listening to podcasts, um, talking with Rod, getting ready for the album. You know, dealing with uh, the, this moment of great change and promise and challenge and opportunity that we're in. The album is called Come Together. May I repeat that, please? The album is called Come Together. We can do this. There is, There are people like us who want to bring everybody together. We understand there's a whole lot of stuff that's trying not to do that. But I decided I didn't want to come back to you until I was ready in that spirit to come to you. So now I'm going to actually just, we're going to do this. So, so I start on the one draw on the C harp, hit the whole step bend on the two. 
actually I probably didn't let it slide up I probably just went right I didn't want to no I wanted a quick quick crisp so I'm using my tongue ta on the roof of my mouth on all those so if you're in a band that has a stop time thing that's one kind of stop time thing you can do on the harp and then I do a thing that I used to do with Sterling where I'm hitting the three four with a little bit of bluing on that three a little bit on the four <laughs> and it's a it's kind of cutting across the beat so it calls a lot of attention to itself it's a risky move let's listen to that one more time it's a risky move honestly to do that while somebody is singing I'll be honest um, it's a Satan it's, here we go Breaking my knees and losing my head my baby left me rather feel like dead that's all it's a hurt me Stripping me of all my dignity And often, if I really want a percussive, crisp kind of thing, I may cough out to, to help the timing. Sounds kind of strange, but let's see if we can do that cough. Now that's, let me... That's interesting. So I'm doing a lot of tongue blocking on that. What I'm doing is, can you hear what I'm doing? So I'm really going to the three six blow, <coughs> to the two five blow, to the one four draw, and I'm doing more of the upper note than the lower note, except I think when I get to the one four draw. Now there, I'm e doing equally the two five draw. I went, I went side to side, but I didn't let you hear the, I just, alright, let's take this apart one more time, do that once, <laughs> so that's the blue third. I probably didn't even have the four in there. <laughs> now that little thing, I want to take that apart. Because that, there's a little thing going on in there that makes all the difference. I'm not just going... I'm going... If I exaggerate it... I'm doing a little t puff out between the one draw, the, the two blow, between the two blow and the two draw. That little gem, that little thing, makes so much difference. It's the difference between something that falls flat and something that swings. You hear the difference? Nobody showed me that. That's just what my body figured out over about 25 years of trying to make it sound good. And that's just, that's what I evolved. Now this is lip burst. Right. So let's go from the beginning. Now there, I, I messed it up. I think I'm going on the four draw. I'm just not sure what I'm doing to get down to the one draw. But you can hear what I'm doing there, right? I'm holding the one. And I actually cough on the one blow. And then I went, so I hit it on the, I hit that three draw, half step down, went to two draw, hit it a whole step down to two draw. 
Are you familiar with that particular lick? It's a pretty common lick. It's one that you should have in your, I'm going to pull out a big word, armamentarium. It means you're, when you open the coat and there's all those big badass weapons, right? Let's listen one more time, and let's hear if I'm doing my own thing, right? I mean, this was all improvised in the moment out of... Here we go. Waking my knees and losing my head My baby left me rather feel like death That's a heartbreak It's a hurt to me So there, that's, that's pretty tricky. We're done on this. Will you do me a favor though? Will you go and you check out um, our new album, Come Together? It goes on full sale, it's on pre-sale now with this one cut you can get, Heartbreak. We, we, put, we made that the, the sort of pre-sale cut because we think it's the, one of the strongest blues on the whole album. It's not an original tune, I think it's Little, little, little Willie. It's, it, it's a blues man named Willie is all I can say. I didn't know that when Sterling and I used to do it. I thought it was his cut, Heartbreak. Heartbreak, it's a, it's a, it, it's a, it, it's, it's a, Heartbreak, it's a killing me, I think it is. Okay, anyway, full crediting is on the album. I hope you had a good time with this. Have a great 4th of July. I gotta get, I gotta start barbecuing, so uh, I'll see you down the road. Okay.